Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I am so excited to make diet-free sangria with you. This is my five minute shortcut, Sarah Andrea. Let's get started. I have a big bottle of red here. Honestly, I have a cab soft. You can use whatever you have at your local market that's on sale, that's fine. Open her up. pre-cocktail workout. Oh, I love that sound, that, that kiss when it comes right out the top. To make our shortcut sangria, we're gonna use frozen fruit juice concentrate. So instead of having our beautiful wine sit all day long, let's speed this up a bit. We're gonna take the head start of the fruit juice concentrate, and then we're gonna add more intense fruit juice flavor without diluting our wine. For my red, I have grape fruit juice concentrate. I let it sit out for like 15 minutes beforehand just so that it pours out a little easier. Nice thing too is that it makes your wine instantly cold. Literally, we're just gonna pour our beautiful wine over. I love that sound. The happy gluggy sound. The fresh grape with the wine grape flavor together. It's literally like multiple dimensions and generations of grape. Since it's a party, we have to do a bubbly version. You could do a white wine, any sparkling wine you want. Every twist is like building anticipation. Ah, now it's a party! <laughs> For our bubbly, I actually got pineapple juice concentrate. You could do orange like a traditional mimosa. I just love pineapple. And for the pineapple, we don't want to lose all of our beautiful bubbly bubbles, so we're actually going to mix just a little bit of the sparkling wine in with the concentrate to give it a little bit of a head start before we pour in the rest of our bubbly. This is kind of a mashup between a mimosa and a bellini. Just so you know, mimosas are made with sparkling wine and fruit juice. Bellinis are made with sparkling wine and fruit puree. Just a little bit first. Give it a head start for mixing. We want to preserve all of our bubbles. I also like a lot of pulp. You could do pulp-free if you want, but I feel like the pulp just gives it body. So pretty. We give our pitcher a little bit of a tilt so we can preserve all of our beautiful bubbles. Give it one gentle little stir. For anybody who wants to celebrate sober, we're gonna make a sober gria using pomegranate juice. You can do whatever kind of juice you want. I like to dress up my pomegranate juice the exact same way I would dress up any red wine sangria. We're gonna do apple for our pomegranate today, just cause it's yummy. Pomegranate juice and red wine are both packed full of antioxidants, which makes them both great anti-inflammatory beverages. Chill buddy, chill. Get all of our apple in there. Stir it all together, and that's it. Now, since it's sangria, we wanna make sure that there's whole fruit pieces in there. I always like to just use frozen fruit, because then you're gonna use those in place of ice cubes, and then they stay firm a little longer in your sangria. They're yummier, prettier, and then you don't have to worry about whatever's at your grocery store. It's just easier to get whatever's in the freezer aisle. We're gonna top our red sangria and our pomegranate sober gria with mixed frozen berries. Get some superfoods in there. I love that sound. It's like chimes. Because we're doing pineapple mimosas, I'm gonna do frozen pineapple inside of our bubbly Sarah Andrea. Do our red. Oh yes. It's a little messy, but that's okay, because it's a party. A bubbly sangria. Oh, she's so pretty. And our sober gria. Sangria, I just made a lot of sangria. Now we enjoy. Cheers! Slanche! Salud! 
Thank you guys so much for making Sarah Andrea with me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, ask me any questions you have. Please celebrate responsibly, and I'll see you next week with another diet-free recipe. But for me, right now, it's happy hour.